Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I got for Christmas haul 2023. I really enjoy watching these videos and I got quite a bit of stuff that I am going to be showing to you guys. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but like a huge disclaimer, I'm so grateful for every single thing that I got and I know that Christmas isn't just about gifts. First, I'm starting out with beauty. This whole goodie basket is from my aunt, so I will show you all the stuff in here. First, she got me some face masks. She also got me this lights out mask set and these eye masks and this face mask from Sephora. Then she got me these serums from The Ordinary. Then she got me the Summer Fridays lip butter balm. I have been wanting this for such a long time and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I already tried it last night when I got it. She got me these fuzzy socks. Then she got me this hair towel. She got me this jewelry case with my initial on it. I honestly needed this because I brought all my jewelry home from college in individual jewelry bags. This is so much more convenient. Next up, I got some makeup wipes. I honestly don't know how to pronounce this brand. I feel like I'm gonna butcher it, but I know it's a nice brand. <laughs> got a restock of my Donna Karen cashmere deodorant. This is a splurge, but it's so worth it. It smells so good. She got me a powder puff from Sephora. I got a couple different things of makeup. So this Laura Mercier eyeshadow crayon, this Valentino mascara, a refill of my Kosas concealer, and a refill of my Benefit eyebrow gel. She also got me this gorgeous lip gloss. I've never heard of this brand before, but this is what it is. It's this light pink color and it looks so natural. She got me these to-go pads to refresh your skin. Then she got me two products from Coperi. Their coconut hydrating body wash and their exfoliating crush scrub. I tried the body wash last night. It smells amazing and feels so good on my skin. Lastly, in this little basket, she got me a 90 minute massage, which I'm so excited to use. Like, like I've needed a massage since I've been to college. So definitely gonna book this before I go back to school. My sister got me this clean, fresh, yummy gloss by CoverGirl. She has this and I've stolen it a couple times. So she bought me my own. I think that's because she doesn't want me using hers anymore. Some of my cousins got me gift cards, which is so sweet of them. My cousin Chris got me a Sephora gift card and my cousin Katie and her family got me a garage gift card. So I'm so excited to use both of these. Then my sister also got me this Wet n Wild highlighter. I haven't purchased highlighter in such a long time, but I feel like it's gonna come back. Next up, this is for my sister. To clarify, she also got me a couple more things because she did a little advent calendar thing for me since I've been home. She's been giving me like one product a day, which is super sweet. She got me all these Sephora masks which I'm excited to try. I feel like I'll need to bring these back so that my college friends and I can do a little face mask night. She got me this headband for when I wash my face because she knows that I don't have one. She got me new makeup sponges because mine are like crusty. I really need new ones. The e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. I don't currently use primer, so she loves this one. I'm excited to try it. She got me this gel bead eye mask so you can kind of cool down to depuff your eyes. She got me more silver hoops because even though I'm wearing gold right now and I do love my gold jewelry every once in a while, at heart I'm a silver girl. Like I am always wearing silver. Not only did she get me all these different size hoops, she got me these little bows for my second piercings, which are gonna look so cute. She got me fuzzy socks, these two facial oils, and then the shampooer. I have my own at school, but I don't have my own here. I've just been using hers, so it's nice that she got me my own. She got me this eyelash curler, this little lipstick, and this tart blush. Lastly, in here, she got a picture of us printed in and put it in a frame that matches my dorm, so I'm definitely gonna put this up. Next up, I got the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. This is the perfume that goes along with the deodorant that I've been wearing. I'm trying to get more into perfumes, so this is perfect because I already know I love the scent from my deodorant. Speaking of perfumes, I got this little set from Gucci. It's some of their most popular scents, so you can try them and see which one you like for a full set. I got this set of hair care. It's by the brand Design Me. I got their volumizing mousse, their volumizing powder, and their dry texture spray. I've already tried this brand before. I absolutely love it, but I don't have my own. I just use my mom's and my sister's when I'm home. So finally, I can bring this to my dorm. Look at how cute the bag is that it came in. Next up, I got this foaming face wash from Chanel. I've never tried this before. I'm pretty nervous to try new skincare, but my aunt got this for me because she heard good things about it, and I'm excited to test it out. I got this big box of goodies from my mom. I got this heatless curling set, OPI press on nails. Then I got these reusable com pads and face towels. Piece out acne dots. I'm obsessed with these. I use these every time I break out. They're just so amazing. This NYX eyelash primer. A mini version of the IT CC cream. A set of the Too Faced lip injection lip gloss. I absolutely love the clear one. I've never tried the other two, but I'm excited too. A refill of the Ordinary Moisturizer, which is what I use every day. A couple sets of these. They're like little wrist covers for when you wash your face so that the water doesn't go down your arms. I think that this is so smart. The Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I've wanted to try this for over a year now. I just never pulled the trigger to buy it myself, so I'm very excited to try this. This IT Cosmetics Kabuki brush. Three Victoria's Secret lip glosses. A lip scrub from pink. Finally in here, a Peter Thomas Roth Goodbye Acne AHA and BHA Spot Treatment Serum. I got this set of testers for Peter Thomas Roth face masks. I got this Dior set. It comes with this adorable little bag. I'm actually obsessed with it. As well as the mascara, the eyelash primer, and a lip product. Look at this bag. It is so cute. This is like the cutest makeup bag I've ever owned. Then I got this Dior eyelash curler. Such an elevated basics. It's almost velvety at the bottom. So nice. I got a whole set of new makeup brushes. I don't know how to say this brand name, but I'm super excited to use these brushes. Lastly, in the beauty category, I got a T3 Curler. This is such a nice hair styling brand. I'm going to need to learn how to use this well, but I feel like I need to really level up my game and become better at curling my hair. And this will definitely motivate me to do so. Now I'm going to move on to more miscellaneous items. First, I got these two cups. I feel like you can never go wrong, and especially in my dorm, I hate doing the dishes. So the more cups, the better, so I don't have to do them as frequently. Then I got new AirPods. Long story short, I lost one of my AirPods. They're such a great investment because I do generally use these every day. Then I got this waterproof speaker. Then I got this belt. Probably confused at what this is, but you put a dumbbell on each side so you can do hip 
hip thrust. I'm determined to make a whole mini gym in my dorm. I got a bike, I have dumbbells, I have this now because I hate Bentley's gym. I also got this Starbucks cup, which is just so beautiful. It's definitely my new favorite. Now moving on to shoes. I got these little slippers for my sister just for walking in the bathroom because obviously I can't go barefoot. <laughs> then I got these J. Crew white sneakers. I actually stole my mom's. Like she bought herself these last year and I just started wearing them. So I think she wants those original pair back and actually gave these to me. I just love them because like they don't have a logo on them. So I feel like it looks cleaner than a lot of other brands for a more simple outfit. I got these black heeled boots. These will be perfect just for like going into Boston with a cuter outfit and even for work. So lastly in the shoe category, I have some Uggs. I'm so excited for these. They're just the plain brown mini Uggs. My sister has these and I steal them all the time. So she bought me a pair. Definitely get a lot of wear out of these. Now moving on to my stocking. I got this hairbrush. I've never seen anything like this before. It's supposed to be very gentle and soft on your hair. So I'm excited to try this out. I got a slick back hair kit. Never have I done a slick back on myself, but I really want to learn how to. I got a ton of chocolate. Honestly, super excited about this. Then I got an Uber gift card. So nice because in college, I feel like I'm spending so much money on Uber. So $50 of that's covered. Then I got this Bumble and Bumble Mousse. This is such a great product. I grew up with my mom using this and I'm obsessed with it. Again, I didn't have my own to bring to college with me. So now I finally do. Now I'm moving on to clothes. This whole sack is full of clothes. First up is this striped sweater from Addicted. I think that this is so soft. I feel like this is gonna be so flattering. This is one of the things I'm most excited to try on. This light blue lace shirt. This is off the shoulder. I feel like this is gonna also be super flattering. It's just different than anything else I have. Next is this red mesh corset almost. My friend Inez has this and I just think it's so adorable. So I don't really have many red things. Kind of wish I had this for some of the holiday parties I went to, but I feel like I'll wear red all year round anyways. I got this maxi dress. It's slightly shiny and it's backless. So you kind of just tie it around. I'm excited to try this one on. Next is this red pleather corset. It's a real one so it like ties all the way up in the back and it's super flattering i only know because my friend emily has this and i feel like we've all borrowed it at least once throughout the semester next i have a pajama set it's this maroon color so it's these shorts the matching tank top i just think that this is so adorable next is this shirt it has some boning in it but it's not a corset and tank top it's like this light tan color i'm hoping it doesn't blend too much into my skin this is the only concern with this shirt plain black flares from addicted this black long sleeve that has ruching on the sides i feel like this can be really flattering it's an elevated basic you know the sleeves bellow out like that and i just feel like that's a really nice Nice extra detail. Next up is this sleeveless square neck dress. I feel like you can't go wrong with black. And then in the back has this big cutout on it. I'm really hoping this is flattering because I'm going to Miami in a couple weeks and I feel like this would be really cute. I am so excited to wear this dress. It is this purple mini dress. It's a super stretchy, comfortable fabric. I really like the look of it. It's kind of that Skims fabric. I'm really hoping this is flattering because it looks like it should be, but obviously I still have to try it on. Next is this green kind of metallic tube top. It has cinching all down the side, so I feel like it's just a different look than anything else I have. And I'm definitely gonna love this because I love tube tops. This sweater, I'm so excited. For. It's a black chunky knit sweater with this cream star in the middle. It's pretty cropped, but I honestly like the look of that. I just feel like it's different than other sweaters I have, and I'm very excited to wear this. Next is another dress. It's the same material as that sweater that I showed up first. It's this long strapless dress. I think I'm gonna bring this to Miami for like a nice dinner. I have this black long sleeve. You can't tell, but it has a little V in the middle, and I just feel like this is gonna be super comfortable and flattering. Lastly, from Addicted, it's this black leather zip up corset. It has gold detailing on it, which is just different because I feel like most everything has silver. I like to match the hardware of like whatever I'm wearing with my jewelry. So it gives me an opportunity to wear my gold jewelry. Now I'm going to move on to Shein. First up is this long sleeve seamless shirt. It's kind of like a skins do. I'm hoping it looks good quality. Next are these dark wash bell bottom jeans. These are like a real denim material. They're not as stretchy as the other Shein jeans I have, but the Shein jeans I have have lasted me for like over two years. Super great quality and super flattering. So I'm hoping these can live up to it because I don't have a dark wash. So those same jeans, but in black. And that's it for Shein. First, I got these light wash straight leg jeans. I also got this long sleeve button down shirt. Super soft, comfortable material. I feel like this would be such a cute outfit for class. Either this with jeans or even this with my flared leggings. I also got these flared jeans. Also from Garage, I have this black sweater. It's cropped and has billowy sleeves. My mom got me this in white and gave it to me early. It's like wearing to Boston with my friends and I'm super comfortable and I like styling it. I feel like this is a basic piece that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. Then I got two pairs of jeans from Express. There's these ones and these ones, which are slightly different. Express just generally has some of the most comfortable, flattering jeans out there, and they last for such a long time. From American Eagle, I have these maroon pleather pants. I really don't have anything that fits like this. My other leather pants are tighter and they're black and brown. So I feel like these I can style in a lot of different ways. Next up, I have Hollister. I got two of the same tank top, one in this super pretty green color and then one in this white. I got this cream shrug. Lastly, from Hollister, I just have this plain black skirt. I feel like you can't go wrong and I can style this in a million different ways. Next, I have Lululemon. I just got one thing from here, but I'm so excited for them. They are the flared yoga pants. I have a couple different brands of this and I wear them all the time, but I feel like Lululemon is like the true ones. They're so comfortable and 
definitely going to be getting a lot of wears out of these. Next up, I have Skims. I've got one thing from here, but I can tell I'm going to wear it a lot already. It is this charcoal gray bodysuit. It has the square neck in the lower back, and I just know that this is going to fit super well, so I'm really excited to try it on. Next, I got this Bentley cropped shirt. It's just going to be so good for all the games, and I really didn't have cute merch, so I'm excited for this. Lastly, moving on to Brandy Melville. I got these gray comfortable shorts. I got them in black as well. These ones don't have buttons. Then I got these blue and white striped ones with a little tie in the center. I feel like these are honestly so adorable. Lastly, I got this sheer lace shirt, so I feel like obviously I'm going to need to find something to pair underneath this, but this is such an elevated basic, and I've seen this all over Pinterest and TikTok, and I'm excited to get to style this. I think that's pretty much everything. I'd like to reiterate, I'm so extremely grateful for every single thing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got for Christmas. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next Friday. Thank you.